Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series wherein we are looking at the questions from BASIS certification prep guide. So in this video we will see the questions from the chapter which is titled Processing Variables with Arrays. So which statement is false regarding an array statement? So let us go through the options one by one. So it is an executable statement. No, array is a compile time statement. So this statement is not correct. So let us go through the other options as well. It can be used to create variables. Yes, if we specify the name of a variable on the array statement, which is not actually present on the input data set, it creates new variables. So it must contain either all numeric or all character elements. Yes, this is true. So we cannot specify a combination of character variables and numeric variables on the same array. So th this is correct actually. So it must be used to define an array before the array name can be referenced. Yes, we need to list the names of the variables and assign it to the name of an array even before we can refer the array name in the downstream processing. So we must have an array statement and array name and the list of variables specified before the array reference can be used. So the last option is also correct as per the array SAS requirement. So we are looking for something which is false. So the first option is seems to be the one. So let's go with that and then see. It says our response is correct and it also says an array statement is not an executable statement it merely defines an array so let us move on to the next question it says what belongs within the braces of this array statement so the syntax of the array statement is that we need to define how many number of elements are there so here the question is what will be the value that will be present here in place of question mark. So here quarter one, quarter two, quarter three and quarter four. So this is a short form representation of the variable names. So if we have a numeric uh, suffix for the variable names, so this refers this hyphen notation represents four variables. So which is quarter one, quarter two, quarter three and then quarter four. So we have four variables being referenced here. So we need to define that four value here. So we have the last option which has the value of four. So let us go with that and then see. It says our response was correct. Let's move on to the next question. It says the following program below for the program below select an iterative do statement to process all elements in the contrib array. So here we have four elements being defined from the variables are quarter one to quarter four which is quarter one quarter two quarter three and quarter four so if we have to iterate this four times so we are looking for something which is like again here they have used the counter variable as i so we are looking for a do statement with i is equal to one to four so let us see if we have anything of that sort yes we have it on the third second option let's go with that and then see it says our response was correct let's move on to the next question this says what is the value of the index variable that references july in the statements below so here we have four variables being uh, identified with the array name quarter so jan april july and october if we see the July variable is specified in the third position. So in SAS, we array index is from starts from one and it goes on till like how many variables we have specified. So we have four variables specified. So we have an upper bound of four is specified here. So the question here is what will be the index for the variable July? So as this is in the third position, the index for July variable is three. So let us go with the option three. So it says our response is correct. So let us move on to the next question. So here, which do statement would not process all the elements in the factors array shown below? So we have an array statement which is defining a array named factors and it has specified one, two, three and four variables. 
So when we are listing the names of the variables, we can use this wildcard character asterisk so that it will automatically uh, define the dimension of the array based on the number of variables specified here. So we have four variables specified. The dimension of factors array is now four. So it says which one would not process. So we may have more than one correct option and we are looking for an option that is not correct. So here the first option says dim of i is equal to or do is e do i is equal to one to dim of factors. So dim is a function so which actually fetches the dimension of the array. So here when a dim function gets executed the dimension for so with this array as we have defined four variables in this array dimension would be four so the dim function would return a value of four so dim of i is equal to one to four so if we have to process all elements we have to loop it for four times so this is exactly doing the same so this is correct so and the next one says dim of i is uh, do i is equal to one to dim of all. So dim function actually takes the name of an array as an argument. So here asterisk is being specified. This is syntactically not correct. So this is not correct. So and then the next option says do i is equal to one comma two comma three comma four. So this iterates it the uh, loop for four times for 1, 2 and 3 and 4. So this is also correct. And then finally do i is equal to 1 to 4. By default we know that it gets incremented by 1. So this option is also correct. So we were looking for an option which would not process. So the correct option is now option 2. So let's go with that and see. It says our response was correct. Let's move on to the next question. It says which statement below is false regarding the use of uh, uh, arrays to create variables. So we have discussed a little earlier that we can create new variables using arrays. So let us go through the options. The variables are added to the program director vector during the compilation of data step. Yes, when we are creating new variables or if we have specified variable names which are not existing in the input data set, those get created automatically and those are added to the program data vector at compilation stage. This is correct. So it says you do not need to specify the array elements in the array statement. So it is not mandatory that you define the uh, array elements. Say for example, if we write an array and give the name of X and say for example, if I say four, so what it does is if we do not specify the names of the variables, so it takes it as X1, X2, X3 and X4. So, and say for example, if we can explicitly specify the names of the variables and if we do not specify the names of the variables, it adds the dimension as a suffix to the array name. So, this is also correct. And it says by default, all character variables are assigned a default length of 8. If we are creating character variables, yes, the default length for uh, newly created variables will be 8. And it says only character variables can be created. No, we can even create numeric variables using arrays. So we are looking for something which is false. So last option seems to be the correct one. So let's go with that and see. It says our response was correct. Let's move on to the next question. So it says for the first observation, what is the value of diff of i at the end of second iteration of the two loop? So diff of i second iteration of the two loop. So let us take a look at the array. So and it said second iteration. So again for first observation. So we are looking for this observation and the value of diff of i and then after second iteration which is i is equal to 2. So let us go through the code. So array weight of i so 10 variables are being defined weight 1 to weight 10 so using the name of wt in the array. So diff of 9 so a newly so we were discussing in the previous question like how we can make use of array to create new variables. So here if we just specify diff of 9, so what would happen is 9 new variables would be created. We have, as we do not have, uh, the names of the variables create uh, specified, the values, the names of the variables would be like diff1, 
diff2 and all the way till diff9. So if the variables are not present in the input data set with these names, these do get created. So here do i is equal to 1 to 9 and diff of i is equal to weight of i plus 1 and 1. So now we were asked to answer the question for first observation when i is equal to 2. So let us replace it with 2. So diff of 2 is our diff2 variable. So weight of i plus 1. So here we are defining it as weight 1 to weight 10. So i plus 1 is 2 plus 1, so which is 3. So which means the third element in this array is weight 3 and then weight of 2. i is equal to 2, so which is weight 2. So we are looking for the value of weight 3 minus weight 2. On the first observation, weight 3 is 215 and weight value is 200. So diff of i is now be will now become 215 minus 200 which will be our 15. So we are looking for an option that has the value of 15. So the first option has that. Let's go with that and then see. It says our response is correct. Let's move on to the next question. Finish the array statement below to create temporary array elements that have initial values. So in order to create, so by default we have seen in the earlier case, so array of diff in the previous question, diff of 9. So what will happen when we specify this is that, so if we do not have the variables which are uh, like diff1 to diff9 in the input data, those get created. But sometimes what happens is like we do not want to that variables to be created but we want some temporary values to be associated for that after the name of the array and specifying the dimension we need to use the keyword temporary underscore temporary underscore and if you want to specify some values to that so what we have to do is we need to list them within parentheses so either sub and separate each of the values using comma or space so we are looking for an option which has the underscore temporary underscore keyword and the values listed within the parentheses and they must be separated by comma so here we have been explicitly provided the what are the temporary values that have to be created so underscore temporary so on the first option we have one and also on the third option we have underscore temporary underscore so but here on the third option we do not have the parentheses included so this fails so the first option seems to be the closest so let's go with that and then see it says our response is correct to create temporary array elements, specify temp underscore temporary underscore after the array name and dimension. Specify an initial value for each element separated by either blanks or commas and enclose them in the parentheses. Let's move on to the next question. It says, based on the array statement below, select array reference for the array element 50, Q50. So here, so, so far we were looking for the arrays which were of one dimension. So here we have a question which is related to two dimension array. So the first dimension corresponds to the number of rows and the second dimension corresponds to number of columns. So here what happens is we have Q1 to Q75. 75 variables are being defined as three rows. So row one, row two, row three. So and then similarly we have columns from 1 to 25. So here when we have this 75 variables defined, so the first 25 would be for Q1 to Q25 will be on row 1 and the subsequent 25 elements will belong to row 2. This is Q26 to Q50 and then subsequent uh, variables will belong to now the third row so which is q51 to q75 so here we are looking for an option uh, which is refers the array element of q50 so now we have q50 on row 2 and column 25 so for that we need to specify the name of the array and the first dimension is row and the second dimension corresponds to the column so which is QUUS and 2 and 25 so let us go and see if we have any such option yes so we have question and 
2 comma 25 so when we say 2 comma 25 it goes to the second row and then 25th column so which is our q50 so let us go with that option and then see it says our response is correct so let's move on to the next question it says select the array statement that defines the array in the following program so here we have a data step in which a data set named code is being created in rainware library we have an input statement and then so category is being read high 1 to high 3 low 1 to low 3 are being read uh, and then we have to write the array statement that actually defines an array so here we have a loop which says do i is equal to 1 to 2 do j is equal to 1 to 3 so and then here we have uh, a two dimensional array is being referred with the values of i and j and compare of i j is again being used here to multiply it with 1.12 uh, so we are looking for an array which contains the upper bound is 2 and upper bound for the first i is so corresponds to rows so and then for columns corresponds to 3 so i is rows and then j is columns so we are looking for an array which has 2 comma 3 in the dimensions and the array name has to be compare so we have here the second option has that syntax so i is equal to 2 so this is there and then j is equal to 3 this is also there so let us go with second option and then see it says our response was correct the nested do loop indicates that the array is named compare and is a two dimensional array that has two rows and three columns that's why we chose that option which has that two rows and three columns. Thank you for watching and keep learning.